Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Austin Scott, area team leader and herbicide specialist for Bex Hybrids. I'm in Effingham, Illinois today, and I'd like to talk to you all about a deep tillage study that we started just a few years ago, uh, trying to see what the influences on specifically water hemp emergence would be. So if you look to my right, we've got a mold, continuous mold board plot uh, just to my right. So we mold board every fall here. Uh, I've been doing it for several years now, looking at, at potentially flipping over and burying a lot of that water hemp seed. So let me tell you just a little bit about water hemp. Uh, the seed is extremely small. So if you look at the end of a ballpoint pen, uh, the part that's covered in ink is typically about the size of that, that water hemp seed very small seeded uh, broadleaf there uh, that does not like to germinate when you plant it deep. So the, the typical life cycle of a, of a water hemp seed or, or the lifespan of it when you bury it in the, in the soil is about four to six years. You get much over six years and they, they deteriorate enough, enough predation on them that, that you really don't have to worry about them germinating. Uh, so that's, that's the whole idea of this plot is taking a mold board plow flipping that seed deep, burying it so that it won't germinate whenever we come back up. The question arises when you mold board plow a second year. So the, the, the thought process is, okay, I had all this water hemp seed, I buried it. Okay, now it's year two, I mold board plow again. Do I uncover that seed and bring it back to the top when it's still potentially viable? So that's really what we wanna see in the plot just to my right. So this plot here, mold boarded multiple years in a row. And you can see there's a few water hemp behind me here, but all in all, it's a pretty clean plot. Now the plot directly to my left, uh, where there's significant water hemp pressure in behind me, was mold boarded two years ago and not mold boarded last year. So deep tillage two years ago, no tillage last year. And you can see we're getting quite a, quite a bit of flush on the weed control. So my conclusion on this study at this one location is, uh, year over year mold bore plow or deep tillage plowing does actually significantly reduce the uh, the water hemp seed in that upper two to three inches of soil where you could actually get some emergence now if you walk with me i want to touch on one more topic here so just for a visual i'm still standing in a in a deep tillage uh plot right right here a deep tillage plot two years ago, no tillage this past year. You can see the, the weed pressure still coming back. Right to my left though, where there's significant water hemp pressure, that's my no-till pass. So you can still see that, that tillage two years ago reduced significantly the amount of water hemp that emerged. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to mark your calendars for next year's Herbicide Insight Days.